Hi, I hope you've watched my previous video on how to deploy our RT6 transponders using our deck top side. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we recover our RT6 transponders. I'll be using the same kit as previously, so that's our Nano Dunker, our deck top side with release functionality, and an RT6 1000. But it's important to know that all the steps are the same across our whole RT6 family. So that's the 1000, 3000, 6000, and HD. Now that we've relocated back to our stored position for our RT6, we're ready to deploy our Nano Dunker into the water. It's worth noting that when you're doing this offshore, you want to avoid any environmental noise sources and keep the cable and the dunker away from things such as props. We're back by the test tank where I deployed the RT6 1000 earlier. Now we want to establish an acoustic link with the deployed RT6. You can do this by selecting the refresh button. You'll now see that the acoustic data is all up to date, meaning that the communication has been successful. Once the communication is established, you can release your RT6. You do this by selecting the release action and then open. To arm and release your subsea transponder, hold down the affirmative B button for 10 seconds. Once complete, the RT6 subsea will initiate its release mechanism. This can take up to 60 seconds to action. If you're in deep water, once released, you can monitor its progress to the surface by pressing the refresh button. I hope you found this video useful on how to recover your RT6 1000 or any of the RT6 family with our deck top side. There's loads more videos on our website and on our YouTube channel. And don't hesitate to get in contact if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.